Hey, welcome to the stream, everybody. So today I'm going to be reacting to the Game Awards 2023, the best creator and the best games. Uh, my camera's not working, so yeah, you're going to have to do a picture. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to it. Let's go ahead into it. Nominees are Iron Mouse, People Make Games, Black Kitty, Spree, Cyber PK. The only person I know out of all those was probably Quackity, and I think I might know PK a little bit. What's your most anticipated upcoming game? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think maybe Diablo 4, because I've actually played that game, and it's all right. Remember, this has to be a game that's officially announced. Fantasy Seven Rebirth. I mean, it looks okay. It looks good, yeah. Hades 2. Hades, I played the first one, it was okay. Like a Dragon. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth looks pretty good too. Infinite Wealth. Star Wars Outlaws. Ooh, Star Wars Outlaws. Hmm. And Tekken 8. I'm going to go probably with Star Wars Outlaws. Your nominees for Best Action Adventure Game are Alan Wake 2, Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Ooh, those two. Good storylines to both of them. Resident Evil 4. Oh, Resident Evil 4 is great as well. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Didn't really get into Jedi Survivor, but it looked pretty good. Survivor and The Legend of... And Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm pretty sure that's difficult, but it looks good as well. I would probably go with Spider-Man 2. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. For best role-playing game, the jury selected Baldur's Gate 3. That's a good game. Final Fantasy 16. That looks good as well. Lies of P. That looks alright. Sea of Stars. Yeah. Looks alright. And Starfield. Starfield. Probably go Baldur's Gate 3. In the category of best fighting game, the nominees are God of Rock. Haven't seen it. Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1 looks good. I played the demo, it was really good. Nickelodeon's All Star Brawl 2. Haven't played it. Pocket Bravery. Haven't played it. And Street Fighter 6. Seen Street Fighter 6. It looks alright and I play a demo. It's okay. But I prefer Mortal Kombat 1 over Street Fighter 6. The nominees for best action game are... Armored Core 6. Oh, Armored Core 6 looks pretty decent. Fires of Rubicon. Dead Island 2. Dead Island 2. I played Dead Island 1, which is pretty good. Ghost Runner 2. Uh, I played Ghost Runner 1. Ghost Runner 2. I don't know if I would want to get back into Ghost Runner, to be honest with you guys. Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush looks okay. Cartoony kind of fighting game. And Remnant 2. Remnant 2. That's a lot of games. I, I'll probably pick... Um, uh, is it again? Hold on. I, I, I gotta go back. Um, how do we pick Armored Core? Innovation and accessibility celebrates games that are making our industry available and enjoyable to more people. Selected by a special committee of accessibility experts, this year's nominees for innovation and accessibility are Diablo 4. Oh, yeah, I played that as a good game. I might have to go with Diablo 4. Forza Motorsport. Yeah, Forza is okay. I Rush. I Five Rush is not too bad. Marvel Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man 2. 2. Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat 1. Mm. And Street Fighter 6. Spider Man 2 for me then. Next up, best family game. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Spider Man Two. How many are Disney Illusion Island? No, no. Party Animals. No. Pikmin Four. No. Sonic Superstars. No. And Super Mario. Oh, Wonder. okay. So out of those choices, I'll go with Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Wonder. Just Wonder. The best sim strategy nominees are Advance Wars One and Two. Never heard of it. Reboot Camp. City Skylines 2. It, the graphics on this looks pretty good. The graphics engine and uh, the way that, that you can do so much in the game. I would probably go with the Cities 2. Company of Heroes 3. Nah, it looks alright. Fire Emblem Engage. Nah. And Pikmin 4. Nah. This year, these five games are nominated for Best Sports Racing. EA Sports FC 24. Yeah, FC 24 looks pretty good. F1 23. F1 23 is alright. Forza Motorsport. Forza looks alright, yeah. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. Nah. And The Crew Motorfest. Nah, I'm going to go with FC 2024. Now a look at our esports categories. Starting with Best Esports Game. The nominees are 
Counter Strike 2. Definitely not. Dota 2. No. League of Legends. Possibly. PUBG Mobile. PUBG. Mm. And Valorant. Your best East. Probably go with. Hold on. Le probably go with PUBG. Sport athlete nominees are Demon One. That guy does not look like an athlete at all. <laughs> Baker. Nor does he. Hydra. Maybe Hy Hydra. Imperial Hound. Ruler. And Zylu. For best esports team, our committee nominated these teams Evil Geniuses, Valorant. Fanatic, Valorant. Game and Gladiators, Dota 2. JD Gaming, League of Legends. And Team Vitality, Counter Strike. Never heard of them. The best esports coach nominees are Potter, Homie. No idea who these people are. Gumba, Ecstasy, and Zonic. I no idea. And finally, the nominees for best esports event are 2023 League of Legends World Championship. Nah. Last TV Paris Major 2023. Nah. Evo 2023. The International Dota 2 Championships 2023 nah. and Valorant Champions 2023. Nah. All right, you ready? It's time for our final two categories. Best Game Direction, which recognizes extraordinary creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Best this Game Direction, here we go. Are Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 is pretty good. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, possibly. Marvel, Spider-Man 2. Eh, probably Spider-Man 2. That looks like a pretty good one. Super Mario Bros. Oh, this is one. tough. They're both, they're all pretty damn good. And The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, finally, on behalf of the jury, I am proud to announce the six nominees selected for outstanding creative and technical excellence. The nominees for Game of the Year. Here we go, people, the big one. At the Game Awards are Alan Wake 2. Oh, Alan Wake 2 might be up there. Developed by Remedy Entertainment. Baldur's Gate 3 from Larian Studios. Baldur's Gate 3 looks pretty good as well. Marvel, Spider-Man 2. Oh, Spider-Man 2. It's going to be really tough. I think Spider-Man 2 should get it. Somniac Games. Resident Evil 4 from Capcom. Resident Evil 4, yeah, but they remade it because it's already been out before. So it's like a remake. Mm. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Super Mario Brothers Wonder 2 looks pretty good. I think it's between Spider Man 2 and Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Because you gotta think about the kids that play it, not just the adults. From Nintendo. And The Legend of Zelda. And the Zelda 2, yeah. Like, ah, oh, so tough. Tears of the Kingdom from Nintendo. I would probably pick Spider Man 2. Nintendo. And there you have it. Those are your nominees for the Game Awards. Alright, uh, thank you guys for showing up. Let me know in the comment section who you're gonna pick. For your game and for your creator, if you know any creators. And uh, I'll see you next one. Peace out, Bill. Bye-bye.